All good schools are always working to improve. And one of the ways we do that is through an accreditation process. So yesterday, as a part of that process, we brought in students and parents to help us in thinking about the things that we do. So what we, as a group, committed to was assessing the, the school. Um, in my case, I was looking at literacy throughout the school. At the, elementary school level, the middle school level, and the high school level, and therefore we visited, I don't know how many classes, it must have been, it could have been 15 classes today. Our main objective was to go into each classroom or area and observe the children and the teachers um, interacting. The parents, um, along with a teacher mentor, walked through classrooms in every single division looking for things that we find important. Each group had an area of one of the five um, core values to focus on. My group was in charge of looking for academic excellence as well as balancing life. I was in the sense of self group. My group is focusing on the respect for all and also dedicated service. They were looking for our core values, they were looking for what we've been doing in literacy, and they were looking for things we do in technology. As they went around, they collected data for us, and then they sat down after the event and talked about what they saw and what they heard. After like more or less half an hour in each building, um, we met back for, for a final de debriefing. One of the things that I found really striking right from EC3 all the way to high school was how confident and comfortable um, the students at SSIS were in their learning environment. I walked with uh, one of the school teachers, Ms. Um, Tao Li. Most of the children or the students, they greet her very nice, like very polite, like, Hi, Ms. Tao Li. Hi, Ni Hao. I feel like, wow. It's nice, yes, yes. The valuable feedback they gave us was both positive and affirming and also critical. So giving us things to think about and ways that they saw we could keep improving. We visited a social studies class that stands out where the, the students were actively engaged with uh, sorting very uh, abstract ideas to kind of try to come up with a schemata. This notion of literacy is not one that's, it's not one that's just about reading a book. Right? It's not just about obtaining, you know, a, a learning vocabulary. It's also about how you deploy this in, in everyday life and how you interact with other people. The other thing that I found really positive about what they talked about is that the things they saw that they valued are the things that we value. Which means as a community, we are really hitting the same note. The thing that um, I myself enjoyed the most was to be able to see how students are so engaged throughout the school. It doesn't matter if it's a, a, a three-year-old kid or a senior on, on the way out, they're active participants, they interact with themselves, with the teacher. There's a lot of collaboration. Going through the process of data analysis helps us really think about the broader picture of our school. And in that process, we have to come up with two to three critical areas that we want to focus on. It helps us really narrow our focus into what's going to be the biggest impact for kids um, in their student achievement and in what they want to do as they move on from us. So that to me is why this process is so beneficial.